Welcome back. The death of George Floyd has brought the fight against racism in America back to the forefront. But what is the best way to discuss it in our homes and workplaces? Box 44's Brian Glenn went in search of this answer. Derek, here's the question for you. Should we start talking about um, racial issues in the workplace? And if so, how does one go about addressing this very sensitive topic? So first off, I think absolutely it should be encouraged that we have this conversation, Brian. It's, it's happening already all around us, and it's obviously affecting people's mindset and their emotions, and so it, it should be talked about. It's affecting people's ability to, to interact and be at their best with their colleagues. So I can tell you what I personally have done to address this, this topic within my organizations uh, is I've facilitated uh, you know, town hall sessions and small group sessions where the first thing I do is I frame up the fact that we live in a time where in my opinion, it's, it's obvious that no matter what your background, your worldview, your race, your gender, your, your beliefs, everyone should have equal opportunity. I just believe that. And I think that as leaders, we should foster an environment that allows people to then share their backgrounds, their beliefs, their influences, and why they believe what they do, and, and to foster a conversation and to allow people uh, to know that it's okay, that they have different points of view, and that ultimately, as long as we respect each other and we come from a place of desiring to learn and understand and to, and to help each other, uh, it's okay to debate it. And I think that from a leadership standpoint, when I've, when I've led that, it's been very well received. Uh, and I have felt that the team comes together with a greater degree of respect and appreciation for each other. And, and ultimately, that's going to lead to progress over time. That's my perspective on it. So it looks like communication is key to all of this. That seems like the first and foremost. Okay, real quickly, we're still dealing with COVID-19 issues in the workplace. How do you deal with stress associated with that? Well, like we said before, I think um, you know, this has been a prolonged period of time. I think part of the, the reason why this topic has become so relevant now is that there's already a built-in level of stress, and now we just keep layering more and more stress on top of it. So I think what you talked about last week is we, as leaders, need to acknowledge the fact that people are having uh, highly emotional times in their life, and they need outlets, uh, either in the context of the work or as tools outside of the work, for them to be able to go and voice their concerns, their frustrations, their anger, their sadness, their stress, whatever that may be, and to be connected with other people who understand techniques at, to provide them an outlet to resolve those emotions in a healthy way, in a productive way, and in a way that ultimately serves their needs, which in turn serves the company's needs. And I think that's something that we can do. We've definitely seen a very different workplace so far in 2020. Derek, we appreciate your time today. Thank you, Brian, again. Thank you.